I don't like all that back hair. Yeah. Okay, let's have a little look, say. Is that too high? Let's not start again. Oh God, the engine started moving. Go! Kim, you talk! Mike, turn, turn! Oh, two times. My time! My time! Two times! Unless my time, two times! Everybody's talking. My time! Two times! Woo! Just like! Alright, so what we're we talking about today, I don't know. It is. Let's talk the thing about. And the survivor. No, wait, hold on. Oh, ladies, we're independent. Ladies, independent. the breadwinner. What do we think about that then, ladies? No. Earning the P. Does it work in a relationship or is it a recipe for disaster, ladies? No, what, do what do you think? What do you think? What do you do if you think that. Um, <laughs> is it controlling when. A, a man tells you, no, baby, you don't have to go out to work, or maybe you don't have to go out to work. <laughs> I, really have to, yeah. I don't want you around them men. What was the difference? Then? I don't oh, want you. It was, was a British accent. Oh, 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 no. no. Oh, no. I thought one was a British accent, one was an American That's accent. That's right. Oh. No, that oh. one was uh, black. Okay. Baby, we, were all 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 <laughs> okay. we were all wrong. We were all wrong. Baby, what I do don't do? want you to go out to work. Yeah. No, I don't want them men are right all around you. I would you're love to know where those men are. Look, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? I would love to know where those men are at the mm. moment. But so it's yeah. like a, a traditional role versus non-traditional role. They roles. start in that way. So, but like, it doesn't have to be a controlling thing though, does no, it? Do you think no. it comes from a controlling aspect? If I feel like if time. you're wearing it, oh, like, I don't. I don't feel like it's necessary for you to go out to work, but if you want to, crack mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Like, cause I'm like maintaining everything. And man, it's like, that's not really controlling. It's just saying, obviously I would like you to make this a priority mm -hmm. and you don't have to necessarily work, but if you want to for your own personal gain and to be great, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you're saying, you're not going out to work now, that's when you need to seek some therapy. Mm -hmm. Red flag, oh, girls, okay. red flag. And but then also, again, I mean, like, as um, coercive control is a thing, yeah. As as um, another presenter, well, I can't remember his name at the moment, um, said, you know, like, some women, it's like, what are you bringing to the table if you? Mm. You know, I mean, like, there is some women that I want a man who can do this for me and I can do, and, and I'll just bring up the kids. And uh, what are they bringing to the table? Bringing if up the they're kids gonna, bring something to the if table. If they're by the way. just, yes, oh, that's yeah, it, yeah, that yeah. is true. But I mean, like, there is women that are. In the sense of they I just want a man live a got, life of luxury and they've got a nanny and. Mm, yeah, that's yeah, it, yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. If they don't want to bring up the kids. And they don't kids, really Because a housewife is definitely a full time and job. And there's 50,000, yeah. they want a man who's got 50,000 a year. Yeah, but they couldn't probably get a job for mm. 10,000, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, they don't know how to look after kids, they don't know how to cook, they don't know how to do but the question anything was, type of thing. women being the breadwinner, because yeah. we yeah. see how quickly true, we've true. gone on to, the woman is staying at home and the man is yeah. being yeah, the breadwinner. So our like take on it is women what going if? out to work and their partners like if maybe their partner does work but the woman is the breadwinner mm. does that work for a relationship no. i would say that if you if you are going to be the breadwinner in any situation whether you're the man or the woman you need to know that there's going to be a certain amount of responsibility that still comes on you mm. and then therefore that means then as the other person you will then have to be or make up the parts in which the breadwinner is not doing. Mm -hmm. So going out of the kind of, let's just say, okay, if the breadwinner is a woman, then that means then the other side of like maintaining the house, maintaining mm -hmm. bills, admin work, all of that stuff may mean that falls on the man the in the relationship. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. as a woman, you need to be appreciative Mm -hmm. and not have your own 
thoughts of, wow, he's the man, he should be also making blah, 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 because mm -hmm. maybe that's not going to work mm -hmm. because you're the breadwinner, you're the one making mm -hmm. the big bucks. So that, that means then, as the woman, you need to kind of eradicate mm -hmm. the kind of backward or the traditional yeah. way that you that was brought up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, and this is also coming from my place as well, like you're not the princess in this situation anymore. If you're going out there and saying, I'm going to go and earn my way and bring money in and, you mm. know, aspire and have ambition and stuff like that, mm. that means that your role in a relationship, should you choose to be one, chain in, in one. But does change. that make yeah. him... Um, less of a king does it make no, you a beta eyes. male as they would say yeah, like okay. but this is where a beta male so you're not an alpha okay. you're a beta because you stay at home and look after the kids because this is why I and don't know, that I feel like that it's one. a stereotype but then that, it's, it's you know. said as if like by saying even that you're a beta male does that make you any less because you do any of those mm. things and I don't but think I think that so. makes you an alpha I think I feel somebody that, so that can, yeah. you know pick yeah. up a woman's work a Absolutely. woman's work is one of the hardest jobs ever and I feel like what happens when a woman is a breadwinner and has a family what can kind of happen is um, even if the man is working but as I said the woman is the breadwinner or she may work full time and then the man works part time is mm. that that woman that was working full time is then sometimes still expected to pick up what is the woman's role when she comes home. So it doesn't matter whether she's been out yeah, from seven yeah. until seven at night. That is something that you know, well, some women for dinner? I speak to mm. are still getting the well, question of, yeah. so well, what's for dinner, love? Yeah. Or mom, what's for dinner? Yeah. Or do you know what I mean? And, yeah. and dad's been home the whole day. Dad's done the school run. But there's certain things that is, oh, you have to wait yeah. for your mum to get back. Or, yeah. oh, I haven't ironed because that's your, your mum's going to do that. You know, yeah. those are the things then um, where it would get frustrating for a woman. She might feel yeah. like, well, I don't need a man then. Because if I'm going to do oh, yeah. this as yeah. well as work, as well as thingy, mm -hmm. um, which I think you've made the point before, then it, isn't the man kind of making himself um, irrelevant? Yes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes. To that woman's life? Because other than sex, what is he going to then be bringing to the table. And yeah. this is why then we have people who are feeling like the nut came off <laughs> from <Enough>. Barbie. <laughs> because they're feeling the like, off. if I'm not able to look after this woman and this woman doesn't need me in that mm. kind of thing of like, you know, this old school mm. in the jungle with all animals I kind of thinking. Whereas like the, the lion, which you don't get a lot of kind of um, understanding mm. that these women lions <laughs> are out here collecting the food, defending the dinghy, mm. looking after the cubs and all that stuff. And daddy lion only really bucks up when there's a bit of a beef, you know? Yeah, yeah, Do you get yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So to flex that, the that kind of thinking, <coughs> we haven't, like, the women have, I'm not going to say that men haven't evolved, but the women have evolved now into places where we're working and mm. we're trying to aid a family because I feel like a majority of women are still kind of you know wanting that kind of not saying a majority of women but I know there's a lot of women who still want that kind of you know I'm at home man, and looking wife, after my child. I'm looking after my child yeah. I still want that mm. but then also I want to be able to have a nice life provide yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if something should happen mm. e.g. that man leaving me yeah. so but also, <laughs> but also you got to remember though that a lot of the times when women take on the so-called man role because I don't see it as that anymore. But um, when they take on the man role, sometimes they lose sight of the, uh, having that time with their child. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what people are coming back to now. They're realizing, like, have I lost sight of, you know, could be my child? I mean, like, children grow up so fast. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I know it's a phrase that is bandied around, but. They do, they grow up so fast that mm. you, you're scared of losing that cuddly but time. That the trap and they want you because they want you. Know, yeah, but, but, but the but trouble is, don't feel you that want way. that. Because, it's because we, um, have taken we um, carry the children. I want that. This is yeah, something I've always yeah. wondered because, um, like, my husband would say, like, I know that there's a certain attachment that comes from bearing a child that yeah. I would never have. Like, and he loves his kids, yeah. but he just knows that as a mother but it's not um this is another conversation we had it's not always 
like that like some mm. women are just not meant to be mothers yeah. so some women are more or not could be mothers yeah, so I'm, I'm just not meant to be mothers I meant yeah. to the way I said it do you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> um, so they are they Ooh. are more meant she to be fine. out in the streets yeah. and you know what I mean yeah. she's followed the street yeah. she's followed the street um, <laughs> but you know but not even even in that way like obviously I've got yeah, on that no. sense but you know this is this is the thing that I feel like and going back to the thing that I mentioned about the Christmas and the meaning of Christmas thing mm. is that because now we've gone into a society that um, goes so much towards what you have rather than the meaning behind it mm. and the struggles from yeah. it we've now got into a society that mm. has kind of forced women to go out and work and yep. get this all yeah, this yeah. stuff because every kid is coming along even re regardless of the fact of it being traditional households now mm. you're they're still coming to that single parent mm. and saying um, I want this and I want this and you don't yeah, want your child yeah, to be bullied yeah, so yeah. that's because the society has made it that yeah, way yeah. so all of that feeling of you know I'm so grateful for what you're doing for me or like that kind of thing has kind of lessened to a point that we can't like as um, we've become unsatisfied mm. by the fact of this is what you're here to do yeah. this is what yeah. do you know what, whatever role that looks like mm. this is what you're here to do because the priority is this family yeah. yes. and the meaning yes. the yes. building the thing you're building is the family yes. you've got distracted by the monetary stuff yes. because yes. the thing that you want in is this yeah. phone yeah. your shoes this blah, blah, kind blah, of blah. Comes, um, you're more educated mm -hmm. do you know what i mean yeah. and then you say you know what i mean your partner mm -hmm. you being the woman um so if you're more educated you could you're qualified to get a higher paying job um, but it's gonna make your man feel a bit bad because you earn more. Yeah, Are you gonna yeah, then not you know. gonna go for those roles? And oh no, because the man is supposed to go out, yeah. even though he's not um, as educated as you or could not get a job probably. That because it doesn't always come down to education. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. It may be that he's just not qu um, qualified, qualified to get know. the jobs that are you know in the thirties, forties, fifties. But you are already at mm -hmm. that point where yeah. you could walk oh, yeah. into a role and be mm -hmm. at the thirties, forties, fifties and work your way up. But you're not going to do that because always oh, going to make um, him look like because a lot know, of men, uh, but a lot of men they do see their role as I take care of the woman, yeah, I go yeah, out, yeah. but what they don't they understand is taking care, but what is taking, what is taking care? care, and the thing is yeah. with that, which I, I, saw I think that has I gone something. by the by now because I mean once upon a time because women couldn't get um, higher purchase or they couldn't get they couldn't buy a house themselves or they couldn't as I say get. Uh, furniture on their own fruition it had to be a man mm -hmm. they, that gave women a lesser role in this country but I feel like we've always had a lesser role in society mm -hmm. because the man's dictated that we have a lesser role and in the man society gets paid more than women and anyway. then everything Literally. that we've had growing up shows that the man has a more of a place in society mm -hmm. because we've taken that but then if you think back to all of the times where it was norm that you're a housewife mm -hmm. a lot of these women were so depressed they went crazy they were Drinking, doing loads of different yeah, drugs yeah, this yeah. is how they knew that these like cocaine and all that stuff yeah, was bad yeah. because of all these women that were going off their nut because mm. they were much more intelligent than what we were set out mm. to do yeah. and this is what i think can sometimes feel like um um threatening mm. to on a man's side mm. is that where i say we've evolved we've gotten past the point where we can do all of this stuff looking after the house blah 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 and not getting any appreciation for it mm. like or not as much as you'd probably expect a human being to get for as much as they're doing and then they've gone on to now going into roles that were predominantly men based as well mm. whereas the reverse has, don't get me wrong, it's happened, but it hasn't happened through, I feel like, men having, like, just making their own kind of effort to do that. I think it's happened because they've been forced into... That's it. So are we making men obsolete, yes. you mean? Yeah, and I feel like, but, but men are making men obsolete because you're not looking to evolve into that role to say... I appreciate that this is now a team effort. Mm. There is no man and woman roles. Mm. We're just doing this to maintain. Mm. Sometimes the you may do the traditional role, yes. but sometimes but it, you may it's not. Yeah. It's not dictated that this is the man and this is yeah. the woman. I feel like you know it, it's more of a thing of um, what's going to be right for you and your partner. And as, as the man, or if you're trying to have Ria said like you're earning more or just naturally you're getting a higher paid job and your man is not like very um proactive mm. with 
meeting you on that level and that's something that you want and you're not willing yeah. to be that person it might be then it's not compatible, not, then, it's not yeah. compatible. Yeah. do you get what i mean because not there everybody is, is ambition driven but if you want a man that's ambition driven because you're yeah. ambition driven you need to change the man that you're oh yeah. yeah and then in some situations if you do find a man that isn't ambition driven and he's looking after you and supporting and you it. that is that's correct your that's, that's the your one you need to ride yes, for and it. stop going after someone who you're already doing mm -hmm. it you're already he might take you on holiday yes. but you've got next girls all around Absolutely. the city you, you, you don't need a man to look after yeah. you to the point of monetary value because yeah. yeah. you can look after yourself but mm. if we're talking on the level of women of my age then we've been brought up with the thoughts of the man goes out to work the mm. man looks after you if you do if you do aspire to be like that then you're just being an added bonus to that man yeah. type of thing. And then the men of my age would be expecting uh, probably to be um, the man in the house, mm. the man that goes out to work. What? You're mm. going to tell me that I'm going to stay at home? Oh, I'm going to come I home cooking dinner. Home. I'm coming home and cooking the dinner. Yeah, like, I can imagine. Yeah, so yeah. we still got age groups that is like, life has changed mm. for women. But really, it hasn't changed for men in a lot of respects. Still and cooking the food, and still me wrong, looking after the kids. So don't get me wrong, they're men doing don't. It. It's not their men. But they're fault. upset about it. <laughs> That's yeah. the it's thing. It's not that you're not doing it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. It's your, it's your responsibility. I've done the dishes well. for you, babe. It's not, it's not just the woman. Done the dishes for me. And that's it. The moment that you've told yourself in your head that a woman can go and work and earn the same money, that means yes, she can take you out to dinner and spoil you as well but also that means that you can go up and pick up those kids without her having to tell you yes. that means that you can go and make we that dinner we all know the schedule you don't need your wife's best talk my time talk I hope you enjoyed the episode like and subscribe like and subscribe see you next week